Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 26 of 2020 and ever since the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that they are heading in a better direction now that Kathleen Kennedy is no longer involved on a creative scale when it comes to the future of the Star Wars franchise. A great example of this is that recently she was let go, fired if you will, from the untitled animated TV series due for release in 2022 that is now being taken over by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. So that right then and there tells us, the Star Wars community, that things really are starting to shape up when it comes to this new Star Wars franchise or universe at that. Now, with that being said, we do know that, of course, Disney CEO Bob Chapek is working very close with Bob Iger. They're working to, together as a team, in a sense, to really deliver authentic Star Wars projects for new Star Wars fans, casual ones, hardcore fans, you name it. They really want to satisfy all the fans on different fronts here. Now, with that being said, we do know that the future of Star Wars is going to be very expansive. They already have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works, including the Ahsoka Tano TV series, The Mandalorian Season 2, and of course you got other ones like Kenobi and more. That's just to name a few there. Now, of course, they've had the shift of release dates for the new Star Wars trilogy by one year each, which isn't completely terrible because we do have a remedy to this with the TV shows and other canon material coming our way. However, what's really exciting all has to do with Jon Favreau and The Last Jedi slash Rise of Skywalker, where both Disney and Lucasfilm are now, now that they're actually finished with The Rise of Skywalker and the entire saga, they're now primarily focused on their new Star Wars universe as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films. Now, currently both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are working together as a team in order to create a better future for the Star Wars franchise. Now, it's described that behind the scenes, creators Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas are all working together in order to create new, authentic stories for the fans to enjoy. It's described that currently Jon Favreau is working on a brand new cut of The Last Jedi that Disney plans to release sometime in 2023, where it's said that Favreau is working on the creative aspects of including many of the deleted scenes from the film by Ryan Johnson, and will be calling the shots of how the new film will be edited, and that the death of Luke Skywalker will be changed drastically in a brand new light, with great new meaning within The Last Jedi for the fans to witness. Now, it's said that this major change by Jon Favreau comes from his disappointment with The Last Jedi, and that this is what got him into working for Star Wars in the first place to set things right with The Mandalorian for starters. Now, further, it's described that also Favreau will be using many unused themes by John Williams that were cut from The Last Jedi. Not just that, but also John Favreau will also be restarting aspects of The Rise of Skywalker by applying a major retcon to raise parents that will redefine exactly who they really are and how they're connected to Emperor Palpatine getting a major retcon, as well as the Force Ghost being included full-fledged within what is described to be the JJ cut or Lucas cut of the film, where Favreau will be handling a large chunk of the creative process to all of this. So, one thing about this I will say that really has me very excited is that not only will he be calling the shots on the new cut of The Last Jedi, but also the Lucas slash JJ cut of The Rise of Skywalker that's going to include a handful of deleted scenes that we would have gotten if it were not for Kathleen Kennedy initiating those two reshoots and rewrites in 2018 and 2019. Now, like I've said before in the past, when we examine the sequel trilogy, it has been very inconsistent. It's had a lot of issues because of the creative differences between many creators and Kathleen Kennedy. And it's not just that. You know, they also went through a lot of reshoots and rewrites for Episode 9. By far, the most important film of the sequel trilogy really was a messy and shaky production for the cast and crew to handle. So now that Jon Favreau is going to be lending a hand and calling the shots creatively speaking on the two cuts of The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker that they aim to release on Disney Plus sometime in 2023 during the holiday season, 
That to me is very exciting because they really do have to do something amazing with these new cuts and the fact that new John Williams music is going to be used for both movies that also really has me very excited because those new themes are going to go along with many of the deleted scenes that they were actually intended to play along with of course. Now John Favreau he's a visionary even Bob Iger before in the past has stated that he really is the next George Lucas and that he sees a lot of George Lucas within him as an actual creator. So with that being said guys you know drop a comment below let me, know, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.